Hello and welcome to another SmartSafe ADAS calibration video. Today we have a 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan and we'll be calibrating the ACC or Adaptive Cruise Control front radar. We'll be using our iSmartLink 801 diagnostics tablet along with our ADAS Pro Plus calibration frame. So let's go ahead and get started. As with all ADAS calibrations, it all starts here with the iSmartLink 801 display tablet. The tablet is going to walk you through the calibration process step by step. And in order for it to do that, we first need to establish communication between the tablet and the vehicle. This is done through the VCI, which is conveniently located here in the tablet, and it will connect to the vehicle's OBD2 port. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in and get started. With the VCI plugged in, we'll go ahead and switch the ignition on to position two. We'll go ahead and hit ADAS calibration. And here the vehicle is establishing communication with the vehicle. We'll go ahead and select Volkswagen. There's an option for the EV, but this is a regular Tiguan. And next we'll be presented with a list of questions as to why we're performing this calibration and whether or not we meet all the prerequisites for the calibration, such as making sure the vehicle is the wheel straight, all of our air pressure on our tires are set to the OEM specs, that we have no additional weight in the vehicle, as well as a full tank of uh, gas. So with all those steps, um, all those prerequisites that is, have been met, we'll go ahead and move forward. Next, we'll go ahead and start by doing an ADAS system scan. So we'll select ADAS system scan. We'll go ahead and press start scanning. And here you can see we've got a code for distance uh, regulation, as they call it here, and we'll select that. And it's just basically letting us know that we need to calibrate that adaptive cruise control radar. So with that, we'll go ahead and generate a pre-repair report so that we can document what the vehicle looks like as it comes into our shop. So we'll hit OK. And this generates our pre-repair report, showing that we have a uh, error code for the ACC. We'll hit save, and then we'll go ahead and hit the back arrow, and then select ADAS calibration function, and then select ACC radar calibration. Now this will put the tablet into the, the uh, steps where we're gonna go ahead and walk through all the things that we need to do in order to properly set up this calibration. So we'll select calibration, you do have a choice for dynamic, but here we are showcasing the static portion of it. And then in order to execute the process, we're being required to make sure that the engine is stopped, but our ignition is switched on as it is. So we'll hit continue. And here it's asking us, are we performing a static or a dynamic calibration? So I'm gonna select one for static. And then it's asking me, where is the sensor located on this vehicle? Or I should say where the radar is located. And on this particular vehicle, it is located in the center or middle, uh, right behind the Volkswagen badge. So we'll go ahead and select option two. And we're using our ADAS Pro Plus calibration frame. So I will go ahead and select the Pro Plus. And the next, we'll be walking through all of the steps in getting the device set up. So let's go ahead and get started and do that. So the first thing we need to do is reset our calibration frame to its default positions. There are three adjustments that need to be made. First is the fore and aft, then there's the left to right, and then there's the yaw positioning. So I'll go ahead and zero everything out uh, to their default positions. Starting here with fore and aft, we'll go ahead and center the frame to zero. Next, we'll go ahead and adjust the yaw to zero. 
And over here, we'll go ahead and adjust the left to right. And we're at zero. All right, so we're ready to move on to the next step. At the rear of the vehicle, we'll go ahead and install the ranging panel wheel clamps. So we'll go ahead and install that here. This is on the passenger side. There are two bubble indicators. One up here, one down here. This one here, just get it level. Make sure that the tire, it's, the uh, clamp is resting on the tire. And then over here, we'll adjust the panel to make sure that it's perpendicular with the ground. And this step will be repeated on the driver's side as well. Moving to the front of the vehicle, we'll go ahead and place the distance ranging panel. And it just needs to be placed right up against the bumper, such as that. So we'll be doing a couple of steps here. Uh, the key is to get the distance of the frame set up from the front of the vehicle. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, mount the uh, LAC 0903 mounting plate and we'll place this at the center and we'll place it right at the center mark that's on the calibration frame itself and the marking on the mounting plate. From here, we'll go ahead and attach the LAC 0902 center point laser onto the mounting plate and this will help us to get the frame lined up to the front of the vehicle. Last, we'll go ahead and turn on the distance laser and we'll need to move our calibration frame. Um, we're about 12, 78 millimeters right now and I, we need to move it back to 1300 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and start with that. Using our fine tune adjustment, I can just simply bring the frame back a little bit and we're right here at 1300. Next, using the center point laser, we'll go ahead and move the calibration frame into position. So we'll slide it over here to the left and just get it as close as possible. We'll make fine tune adjustments shortly here. And once we get that locked into position here, we'll get ready to turn on our side lasers to make sure that the yaw positioning of the frame is correct. So we'll go ahead and back our camera out here a little bit so you can see this step. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on our side lasers here. And this is gonna be aimed at the ranging panels at the rear, uh, at the rear wheels. And I'll be doing the same thing on the driver's side. And here we'll go ahead and make a proper yaw adjustment by matching the two values side to side. So we're a little bit uh, forward on this side here. We'll come back and looks like we'll land here at about 5,000 millimeters. Okay, our yaw is adjusted. And next we'll go ahead and recenter our frame. So now the frame is perpendicular to the vehicle. We can go ahead and move on to our next step. With our frame centered, we can go ahead and remove the central point laser. So I'll take this off here. Can place that back up on the mounting point. Next, we'll go ahead and bring in the ACC radar plate. This is the LAM0502. And we'll go ahead and attach that to the mounting plate. And with that in place, our next step will be to make sure that we are centered here uh, it should be in position two, which is level. And we'll go ahead and raise the uh, plate to the proper height. So the next step here is to go ahead and set the height of the radar plate. There is no specification for the height other than that the center laser for the plate should radiate on the center of the um, radar unit, which is behind the Volkswagen uh, emblem. So we'll go ahead and raise the frame up. So with the calibration frame all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and stand behind the radar of the vehicle and I'll go ahead and click on the calibration button. Click continue. It's performing the calibration. I 
and we've got a successful calibration. So I'll go ahead and click on continue. And at this point we want to go ahead and save our ADAS report. So I'll click OK. And I'll go ahead and generate the diagnostics report. This shows the success for static calibration. We'll save that. But we'll go next and click on the left arrow twice and get us back to the ADAS system scan. We'll go ahead and perform another scan here. We'll clear the DTC first and then run the scan. And it looks like we've got a green board here. So we'll go ahead and generate our post repair type. So changing our repair type to post repair. We'll then add in our pre-repair that we took at the very beginning, as well as our diagnostic scan. Add those two together to make a post repair report. So we can even add a photo here at this point, showing that we've performed the calibration. And that also can be added to the post repair report. And here we have the completed report. So this concludes how to perform the ACC or Adaptive Cruise Control Radar Calibration using the iSmartLink 801 display tablet along with our Pro Plus calibration frame on a 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan. We hope you found the video helpful and we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Bye for now.